What up y'all, your boy is back and he's got an educational video for you. And just quick disclaimer, I'm not the best at this game, I'm not perfect, I, I'm definitely not a professional, but I have learned some little bits on what we can do to improve our gameplay even just a little bit. Um, I think it'll benefit especially our beginner players, you know, people who aren't too, you know, familiar with first person shooters or maybe this is like your first one or whatever the case may be. but. Um, no, your boy has a few tips he can go and throw at you, just in case you didn't know. Um, that would definitely help your gameplay. So, first things first, and this may have been a default feature in the, like when you first installed the game. I believe it is default, but kill feed, turn that on. It'll help you a lot, trust me. So, when you press escape and go to options, go to your gameplay tab, and you'll see the kill feed display. I'm pretty sure by default it's turned off, but go on and turn that back on. Because when you get kills, or if your teammate gets kills, you get to see it in the top right area right here. That way, like for example, if you're if you're like looking for somebody or you're not sure if they're like dead or not, then just look at the kill feed in the top right. That way if no one calls it out, you know, like Tracer dead, junk rat, dat, dead, whatever the case may be, you have a reference to see if someone has been dead or not. Or even like um, another good example is Anna's uh, sleep dart. No, not sleep dart. Just her normal attack. Actually, um, it damages over time. So especially with a lot of damage over time um, attacks, you can use that to verify if you've actually killed somebody or not. All right. The second important topic I want to touch on is, uh, I, and of course we all know this by now. I hope, but if you want to win a game. You have to switch characters. There's no, you can't main anybody in this in this game at all. You cannot pick a main. I'm sorry. I don't care. I mean, you can pick. Granted, if you're a professional and you actually play this game seriously and you're getting kills and playing the objective, then sure, you can you can somewhat have a main. But even still, if you look at competitive Overwatch, you're not going to see one person playing, you know, whoever for the entire duration of the game. Unless you're just joking around and quick play or something like that, but if you actually want to win, use your um like when you die. Let's let's say for example you're playing Soldier 76, and you know you you're trying your best, you're trying to get some picks, but it's just not working out for you. Maybe they have a direct counter to Soldier. You know maybe the whole team is I don't know looking at you the whole time and um prior prioritizing you and whatnot. Let's say you're just really good at the game, so the other teams are like, yeah, we gotta get the soldier down immediately or he will destroy us. Anyway, when you're dead, go on and use that time to see what your team needs. You know, go on and press that tab button to see what you already have, obviously. This is assuming you're on like, uh, I don't know, like quick play. And, you know, with normal quick play, with like the one hero limit, of course. Um, you know, just pick someone who's a little bit better in that certain circumstance, and it might work out for your team. And honestly, it can turn the tide of battle. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. If you're consistently dying, the best thing you can do for yourself is simply switch characters. Maybe you don't have enough support. Maybe you don't have enough, I don't know, damage. You can definitely, um, you can definitely experiment with a couple of them and see if you can get a better pick. Like for example, I oh my god, I don't know what it is about the community, but nobody likes to play support and nobody likes to play a tank. So guess who has to do it? Because they want to win. That's me. <laughs> but anyway, spend your respawn time. Like don't be lo don't look at the kill cam. Just don't look at the kill cam unless you're just genuinely interested. Um, you can take that time to change your character. You know, don't take your time to change your character when you're back in spawn because you're wasting even more precious time you know when you could be using that time for gameplay and killing people so instead instead of watching the kill cam one more time instead of watching the kill cam just go on and press that age button and just keep, change your character right then right then and there because you got like a what eight to ten second um respawn time do not trickle in trust me or overextend too much as you can see, we don't have our full team here. We probably got three people on the point right now. We're down like two or three people, and now we just lost another one. So, uh, uh, we're, we're down another one. Okay, so, point is, don't trickle. <laughs> if you see yourself getting defeated, 
fall back until you can have close to another full squad. Because if you're trickling, you're just feeding and you're giving the other team a chance to build up their ultimates. This is live gameplay, by the way, so I can give you a better example. Right now, you can you can use your default button, which is C, and use that group up tab on your uh, wheel, command wheel, or whatever button you have it set to. So mine is C, and you can just scroll over to the group up, and hopefully your team will group up. That way you can do more damage and wreak more havoc and whatnot, and not die. Another thing you can do is, if you're in the middle of fire, don't be afraid to take cover because you won't always have, I'm on this point, you won't always have like a healer or another support to defend you. So don't be afraid, especially when it comes to high noons. Get behind a wall, don't, and trust me, do not rely on Reinhardt's shield. Take cover for a second and wait for heals or you can try to get um, a health pack in the meantime. I guess another fun point I want to sneak in there too is communicate with your team. Get a mic, type super fast, whatever you have to do to communicate with your team a little better. Use your command wheel. Oh god. <laughs> And simply, that's that's a whole nother video, but this Reaper right here, he did exactly what I wanted to discuss in the next video, which is do your job. Do your character's job. But we'll touch on that later. <laughs> the next thing I want to touch on next is voice lines. A lot of people don't know, for the most part, if you're on the if you're facing off against the enemy team, when they use their ultimates, they're usually gonna say it in their quote unquote native tongue. For example, I'll let the video speak for itself, but pretty much if you hear it in a foreign language, that's the enemy doing the ultimate, not a person on your team. Usually a person on your team is going to say the English version of it. But anyway, watch the video. If it sounds like dark and enemy-like and or in another language, it's gonna be your enemy. If it's in English and it either doesn't, if it's not as loud and it sounds kind of more positive, it's gonna be on your side. So anyway, I hope this video helped. Maybe it'll help improve your gameplay just a little bit more. And I might keep this series going because I, I see a lot of stuff. It's just, I, I, there's too much in this video already, so I just want to give you a rough breakdown. So anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Subscribe. I'm out. Oh, sh come on! Why is there a lunch there?